put this in. This will be too big. You should put some uh, cotton wool or some con something in the mine. Okay, about five percent. It will take some time. Close circuit. Little flow. Close and rate. Rate is close. Flow a bit higher. Four, three to four, four. Okay, four liters per minute oxygen. Isofluorine at five percent. Time at five thirty one p.m. It percent into zero one seven. It's a Friday, right? Friday. Now, as you can see, wait, uncover first. Yeah. Once it's a bit down, then we can just proceed to check his leg, whether it's fractured or not. I mean, whether it's uh, dislocated or fractured. Yeah. It's a button down soon. Straighten the hip, it's a hip. There's a knee there. Yes. Examination to do, do 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 systematically. So we start from the hip. This is the hip area. From the hip. Then from the hip. I will check the femur first. This is the femur. Whether there's any uh, crepitus or not, any fracture. Make sure it doesn't breathe too much gas. Okay, so this is a femur. Then I go down to the tibia. This is the tibia. Ah, there's a sound, clicking sound. So it's a tibia fracture. The tibia fracture this is the, the knee we call it. When the tibia is fractured, so let's see whether there's an animal. The tibia is fractured, so now I give some gas again because it's waking up. I give some gas again, so we confirm tibia fracture even with the X-ray, just by palpation, you know. So now I will just give some gas first. So the tibia fracture, then uh, causing this uh, leg to rotate, the muscle to rotate upwards. So now it's sleeping again. How many percent? It's three percent. So I put it to one percent first. You want to save side one percent? Okay. Now I take up again. So I know it's the tibia fracture. The tibia. Let me check first. Check again. Huh? Now this is the hop. This is the hop. Now you can compare the other leg. Let's start again. Give some gas first. Some gas. Let's start over again to confirm. Okay, firstly, I will go for the hip joint. And I check the, the femur. Femur is the first one. Not fractured. Now, then the next one should be the tibia. This could be the hop actually, the hop has been twisted. Okay, the tibia is here. I'll give this up first. There's a clicking sound, definitely. There's a clicking sound. So, this should be the tibia. This is the hawk. The hawk has been. Uh, Twisted, twisted a bit, uh, away because of the fracture. So we diagnose it's a tibia fracture, and uh, now it's waking up again. So you have to be careful not to overdose the gerbil, otherwise it'll be dead. It'll be dead, it's overdosed by isofluorine gas. So, I'm giving some gas again, it's 1%, which is quite safe. 
by the cone. So now I have managed to sort of twist it back. But uh, it's painful. Okay. Give some more gas. Some more gas first. So basically, it'd be difficult to put a splint. The spin on, so we know it's not easy to put a splint because of the muscle here, and uh, we will shave it first. Yeah? Okay, we'll shave it first. And again, put onto the cone again, cone again, cone again. Yeah. So we clip, we clip the area board so that we can see the anatomy, the location of the fracture now as you can see this one is very clear now so there is the this is the hop actually the hop is here and uh, now come this side come you go that side come this side Good. a bit pull, pull the pull the toe out a bit this one pull a bit see can it come down no can you go forward forward not backwards cannot okay now you hold this you hold this take this is on again now. okay ready it's on no need to be so close so I will check again oh he's waking up already so I need to give him some gas Guess first. We don't need to put it two percent here yeah. or three percent. Shot more. Yeah. Okay, now get our anatomy correct. So definitely there's a TV fracture, so it shortens the it shortens the lower leg so that it becomes this is the fracture area that's why there's a the hamster has been licking it this is the fracture area of the tibia the femur is not fractured femur, femur is here femur is here, the hip is here so the diagnosis is uh, uh, tibia fracture I mean this can be confirmed by x-ray but our patient will let you know as well so there's a displacement, the displacement of the tibia, which is the lower leg. So it's, it's not possible to splint. Not possible to splint. Yeah. So I will let the owner know. And uh, to keep painkillers. And if, if the, the bone the tibia ends can heal by non-union, I mean at least we save the leg. Okay, finish.